Mm, most embarrassing moment throughout high school. Oh gosh, this moment is embarrassing. Like, YouTubers. Mm, this is a tricky question. Favorite YouTubers. Um, okay, how how long was your longest relationship? Mm. Hey Bunny, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm so excited for this video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Honey. If you have been here for a while and you're not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. Let us reach 500 subscribers. Subscribe to the channel because if you ain't this squad, you ain't popping. Like, period, okay? So, join the squad. Anyways, um, so for today's video, so I've been on YouTube for quite a while okay it's been a year now yeah i started my channel back in april of last year so um it's finally been a year since i've been on youtube and i haven't done a get to know me tag so most of you guys are just watching my videos and you guys don't even know anything about me um i know there are some subscribers that already know me but like i have now 500 subscribers almost okay by the time you are watching this video i'm hoping we'll be by 500 subscribers but yeah um most of you guys don't know me so i've decided to do a get to know me take so um if you'd like to know more about this person that you've been watching here <laughs> why am i doing that to my hair but yeah if you'd like to know more about this face here this person you've been watching on this channel then stay tuned and let's get into this video have their phones in their hands when they're doing a get to know me take but I phone from my phone so we have papers okay we, we have our questions on a piece of paper on. okay so um first question is um what is your birth name so my birth name is honey Medemboa Kashimune by the way honey is the same way it's spelled in this in the in the in the, in the name for this channel H A W N I not H O N E Y please it's honey um, my name actually means grace so um, if you go look it up it means grace it's not honey baby that kind of thing <laughs> but yeah um, when is your birth date my birth date is 19th of January 1996 um, where did you grow up so I grew up in I grew up in Odongarangombe okay how do I explain this I'm from Okagarara right um, I grew up with my grandparents in Odongarangombe from the age of, say, um, since birth to the age of three. And then from the age of four and five, I went to Okagara for our primary school. And then uh, I went to school in Chuarango grade six all the way to grade 12. So where did I grow up? Define grow up. Grow up is from what age to what age? Um, where do you currently live? I currently live in Bentuk. Um, how tall are you? So, um, the last time I got or oh, I checked my length was like what when grade 10 when they were doing our IDs. So, on my ID, they say I'm 1.77, but I'm sure I grew a little bit taller and I'm probably 1.8 or 1.9 centimeters, by the way. <laughs> Ah, uh, not centimeters, meters. Oh gosh, can you imagine? Meters, 1.78, 1.77 meters. Ah, uh, dog or cats? Uh, dog or cats? Definitely cats, just because they are neat. Dogs are untidy, but... Yeah, definitely cats. Mm, most embarrassing moment throughout high school. Oh gosh, this moment is embarrassing, like... Um... Hmm! Most embarrassing moment. I don't have to do a story time on that one, but I peed myself. My most embarrassing moment throughout high school is that I peed myself. If you'd like me to do a story time on how I peed myself, let me know. And I'll do it. Okay. Um, and then the thing is, um, what year were you born? 1996. Uh, most. Are you are you in or have you been to college? Uh, I'm not in college. Yes, I've been to college. I'm having an honors degree in Okay, I have an honors degree a bachelor of science 
in uh, Chihuahua Information Science and I majored in Environmental Studies. So, um, what is your favorite drink? Mm, depends. Uh, non alcoholic, I love lemon lemonade. I've been on the lemonade thing so far, but like, yeah, non alcoholic lemonade. Uh, and then alcoholic, it's flying fish, and the other one, we're just not gonna say it here, okay? Like, in case the crush is watching, the base watching, the Zali is watching, we're not gonna say the other one here, but flying fish is a side, but the other one, we're not gonna say it here. So, uh, what is your spirit animal and why? Ah, uh, hmm. I would say my spirit animal is a polar bear. Reason being, uh, a polar bear is associated more with like um, being like strong, able to adjust to environments, and I think I'm that kind of person. I also like to say a giraffe, just because it's tall. It's like when I'm tall, and it's kind-hearted, and I'm kind-hearted. Like in a giraffe, we say unomuti ma wumbahe. So um. If you go look that up, if you're not a hero, but like, yeah, um, I'm kind hearted, like they say a giraffe is kind hearted, so I'm kind hearted too, so my spirit animal should be a giraffe, period, okay? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, tea or coffee? Um, most definitely tea, not even, like, I don't like coffee like that, like, I can't even finish a cup of coffee, but I can finish tea, so yeah, most definitely tea. And girls, tip, just to throw in here. Uh, careful with the amount of tea, uh, amount of coffee you drink. Okay, like careful with the amount of coffee you drink. It, it's not good for you. Like, if you don't get it or if you don't know what I'm trying to say, Google it. Coffee is not good for you, for us ladies. Um, okay, what sports do you play or have you played? So, um, from say grade one. When did I start sports? Me anyways. Uh, somewhere from grade 1, grade 2, then when I started sports, I initially used to do athletics. And then when I got to grade 5, I started doing athletics and netball. And then so I did athletics and netball from grade 5 all the way to university. I stopped doing athletics my first year. So I did athletics my first year at UNAM. But after uh, my second year, everything got hectic. And so I dropped athletics and I just remained with netball. So I still play netball. And that's what I'm doing right now. I play netball at the moment. But I dropped athletics. Um, who are your favorite YouTubers? Mm, this is a tricky question. Favorite YouTubers. Okay, so I have categories when it comes to YouTubers or like favorite YouTubers. Like what mood I'm in, who do I want to watch, what kind of content I want to see. But um, if we go with lifestyle, I like, I like Jayla Korean in, 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 in Missy Lane. Although they had a falling out and wara wara, but nah, Jayla Korean and Missy Lane, I love them both. Uh, when it comes to couples, I love Diera and Kim, dk for all been there since I don't know how long now. I've been watching their videos for a long time now but yeah uh, couples here and Kim TK for all and then family family I love the rush fam oh my goodness they have such cute babies and they're just they're cute okay they're uh, they're a cute couple the rush fam they used to be to, they used to be today with three but now they are the rush fam but yeah I've been watching them for a while hence why I know the name and change names whatever um, yeah, and then when it comes to Namibian, just to throw it in here, um, my favorite Namibian YouTuber would go to Mercy, keeping it real with Mercy. Yeah, um, that's my favorite Namibian YouTuber at the moment, just because her videos are really funny. Like, okay, her videos dating back to like when she first started the channel. Like, okay, this, hmm, how do I say? I love her comedy videos, like those videos where she's being a comedian or. Those funny videos actually. Her videos kind of used uh, remind me of a uh, Lily Sin. If you know, if you don't know her, but like Superwoman, Lily Sin. So um, that's why I like Messi. And then, um, do you speak any languages and how? Oh, uh, I speak because you're um, fluent. I'm a her. Uh, and then, <laughs> why do I do that? Obviously, English, Afrikaans, and I kind of understand the Mara. I can, you know, throw in like a few words there. I mean. Me three or see those kind of things like those small things, my dessert, I I smart to me. Those small kind of things with the Marabaya. Those are the only languages that I know. 
and speak or can understand. Um, how how long was your longest relationship? Mm, my longest relationship was four years. A whole honors degree, guys. Four years, honors degree. Okay, that's that's how long my longest relationship was. Um, how would you describe your fashion sense? Um, I would say I am more of comfort, like comfort winter. I love a lot of I have a lot of winter clothes and I love winter winter clothes. So yeah, winter comfy. I don't know how to describe that. Yeah, that's my fashion sense. Um, what is your go-to hairstyle? Uh, definitely braids. Um, I love braids uh, when I have to braid my hair. But um, with my own hair, it's basically the high path there where you kind of, I don't know, where you put a wrap, a, a, a what? A ribbon around your hair and then it's like, I'll insert a, I'll insert a picture of my natural hairstyle, go-to natural hairstyle. And then when it comes to any other hairstyle is just braids. I'm not a wig girl. Like I love braids. I know you have been seeing me with a wig in these videos. I mean, in this on this channel for a while now. But yeah, I'm a wig. I'm a braids girl. Not not no wigs. Um, how many siblings do you have? Oh, uh, I have. Let me see. I have seven siblings. Okay, if I combine my mom and my dad's kids, we are seven. Um, I have. Three sisters and four brothers, but um, I lost one of our, my brothers, right, yeah, one of our brothers is no longer with us, so, yeah, um, that's, that's what it is, uh, so I have seven siblings, or had seven siblings, I now have six siblings, whatever, I don't know how to explain that, but yeah, um, and then the next question is, uh, uh, what is your go-to fast food order, um, okay, I mean, we don't even have that many fast food order, Orders or options in Namibia. So um, KFC, I go for the Crunch Burger. I love, 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 love the Crunch Burger. So um, if I have enough money, I'll go for a double Crunch. If I don't have enough, I'll go for just the normal Crunch Burger itself or the summer lunch box. That's what I like from KFC. And obviously the famous Oreo Crusher, but they never have that. Okay, they've been out of stock with it. For like, I don't know, since Corona started, I don't know what the issue is with that. But yeah, they are also with the Oreo Crusher. Or just Crusher in general. They don't have ice cream at KFC. Yeah, um, tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Mm, one thing about you, that mo about me, I mean, <laughs> that most people wouldn't know is that I'm deaf. Okay, um, yep, I'm deaf. Uh, I used to wear hearing aids, but uh, when I got robbed, I lost them. They were in my handbag. Yeah, so um, if you haven't watched my How I Got Dropped video, um, I'll link it here and you guys can go check it out. But yeah, I got dropped and I lost my hearing aids. So I used to wear hearing aids. Most people don't know that about me. I am deaf. So yeah, I can kind of hear you, but like it's a whole story. I can, if you guys want me to tell you a whole, to do a whole story on how I got deaf, what happened and all of that, let me know. I will do the video but yeah I'm deaf that's one thing that most people don't know about me um, next question is um, what is your favorite TV show uh, at the moment my favorite TV show is uh, the challenge oof I love 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 the challenge and then I've been binge watching uh, Man Money Haste and, and I've been enjoying it a lot so um, the challenge and Money Haste uh, and then Next question is, um, what theme, theme parks have you been to? Um, Gold Reef City in SA? Oh gosh, that was an adventure for sure. And it was fun. I don't know if it counts as a theme, theme park. It is a theme park. I think so. Yeah, Gold Reef City, SA, Johannesburg. Yeah. Um, what was your dream job as a kid? I feel like everyone had this. <laughs> As their dream job as a kid. I don't know. I think I used to watch too many movies too. But um, if you guessed it, my dream job as a kid was to become a forensic detective. <laughs> oh man, I used to watch too much movies. Okay. Yeah. Next question. Um, have you moved from home? Where to? And how was your experience? Um, yes, I've moved from home. I currently live on my own. How was my experience? Hectic, to say the least. I go drop. 
uh, yeah, um, it wasn't a good experience. Uh, do I regret it? No. Um, am I enjoying myself? Yes. I love my space. I love being on my own. And yeah, uh, not like I had an option anyways, but if you want me to do a video on why I moved, no, not, not necessarily why I moved, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't want to talk about that, but um, my experience on living on my own and that kind of thing, just advice on how to survive living on your own, getting bored and all that kind of stuff, let me know. Hmm, these are a lot of video ideas that I'm throwing out here. Guys, come down here, go in the comment section, let me know what would you like to see from me. I have so many ideas. It's so many. Anyways, next question. Uh, have you ever felt that anything? And what did you learn? Um, yes, I felt multiple times. Like, who hasn't failed at anything? Like, you've been lying if you're saying you haven't failed. Like, I've failed multiple times. And what I've learned is that you learn from your mistakes. You learn from, you take and learn. What did I do wrong? What can I do better? And sometimes you don't even know what you did wrong. But it doesn't mean you stop trying. You move on and you try the next thing. Is this, if this thing didn't work, maybe it wasn't meant for you. If it was, it would have worked. Okay, so um, you move on. We move on. And you learn and grow um, next question is um, how many countries have you traveled to so uh, I've been to SA and I'm like if you're going to SA you're, like if you're driving like we went through Botswana so I don't know if that counts because we're just driving through but uh, SA Botswana that's it those are the only countries I've been to I would love to travel more I'm like if I had a lot of money I would be going like every holiday every December like I would be going somewhere but finance money we ain't got that so we're staying but yeah maybe someday i'll get to travel next question um who is your celebrity crush i don't have a celebrity crush like i don't know why i'm supposed i don't man i feel like a crush for me is deep man like i don't have a celebrity crush like i don't think i can lie to myself like that but yeah no no celebrity crush um Although if Chris Brown was to come to Namibia, I would most definitely not miss his show. So I don't think it's a crush. It's just me being in love with his music. Yes. Yeah. Not a crush. Um, so, um, what do you do in your free time? Uh, I watch a lot of videos. I watch a lot of... Sorry. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And um, yeah, that's what I like to do in my free time. Watch a lot of YouTube videos. I'm not a reader. No, I'm not gonna sit here and lie about that. This girl here doesn't like to read. I like to kind of what do you call those uh, um, podcast? Podcast? Yeah, I like to also listen to those, but I'm not a reader. Um. Okay. Have you have you been to any concerts or festivals? Um. Which were the most memorable? Have you been to any concerts or festivals? Which was the most memorable, I think. Um, yeah, I have been to a couple of concerts and festivals. The most memorable was Unum's Cultural Festival in 2017. Yeah, 2017 Unum Cultural Festival for me was the most memorable. Uh, ugh, gosh, so much happened then and it was a good time. I had a good time. Yeah, oh, um, what are your favorite values in friends? Um, favorite values in friends, just be consistent. Like, if you are consistent, if you are there, if you are caring, like, those are the only things that I really look for in friends is consistency and feeling that the person is there for me and I can be there for them because I'm always going to be there for my friends and I just need the same consistency, okay? Um, next question. Um, what social media are you addicted to? Is that even a question? Huh? Is that a question? Okay, now. Um, YouTube, obviously. That's what I'm addicted to. Um, last four questions. Um, how do you get along with your family? Oh, I get along with my family pretty well. Like, my family is, I feel like we are one of the closest people that I have, maybe one of the only 
people I can really say have always been there for me and so um, I'm very close with my family and yeah um, I think it's just a thing of growing up in a what do you call this uh, extended family yeah so um because of growing up with in a, in a, in an can't speak because of growing up in an extended family um, we've kind of been so close like everyone is your mom everyone is your sister it's just it's a thing <laughs> my neighbor is looking at me guys <laughs> oh gosh my window is open so the person is looking at me it's so funny but yeah um next question what is the biggest struggle you overcame mm. sorry um the biggest struggle i overcame i would say it's life after college Oof. You know how when you're in college, when you get to your final year, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited, I'm finally done, and I get to be working, I get to be doing A, B, C, D, E, and it's like, you graduate and then everything just goes numb. Basically, everything just goes quiet, and you're just like, oh man, it's not that fun after all, like, yeah, um, so life after college for me was the biggest challenge I've ever, I've yet to overcome. I wouldn't say I've overcame it yet, but like at the moment I'm in a good space. Um, yeah, but uh, life after college for me is the biggest challenge I ever had to overcame, overcome. <laughs> um, who is your role model? Uh, definitely my mom. Uh, my mom is my role model. She's always been there for me. Um, she's kind of shown me a lot of persistence. Like, you don't give up no matter what life throws at you. No matter what challenges you are facing, you do not give up. Okay, you go for your dreams. And if you want it, you go get it. And yeah. Um, yeah, that's why my mom is my role model. And then the last question is, um, what are your... What are you happiest with in um what are you happiest with in life? So um I'm guessing what makes me happy happiest? What are you happiest with in your life? I guess what is in my life at the moment that makes me the happiest. Hmm. Okay, how do I answer this question? I feel like um um right now I'm just happy with where I am at with life, like um i'm happy with the experiences that i've been able to live and i'm just happy that i have such amazing friends that are always by my side i'm in an amazing family and basically um i've had a good space in life like not the best but also not the worst so um also i have you guys yeah how can i forget about that i have you guys i have you bunnies and you guys always tune into my videos you guys kind of always encourage me to come here to make more of this video so i have you guys uh yeah um you guys watch my work quality videos filmed from this samsung phone and you ask for more when i don't bring any content like so yeah, that's what I'm happiest about at the moment. Yeah, um, that brings us to the end of this um, video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If this got, um, got you to get to know more about me, I'm glad. That was the aim. Um, if you watched this video until the end, thank you so much. Yeah, um, anyways, this is the end of this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you did, bye-bye. Yeah, um, bye guys. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a new video, which is every Wednesday. So um, yeah, guys, um, subscribe, please, please, please. We are like seven subscribers away from 500 subscribers, and then we can go on the 1K subscriber mission. So um, we are there. We are halfway now. So um, let's just do this. I mean. You've been watching this channel and you're not subscribing? Like, how? How? Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you for more videos. Mwah.